So it is, what is today's date? June 10th. And yesterday, I, I usually take my temperature in the morning and then I'll like put it into my app after the fact, like later in the day. So anyways, after the fact, yesterday at some point, I went and put in my temperature from the morning and I was like, huh, it went up, not down. I should get my period soon. And I realized like, oh, even though I had like a little bit of spotting, I think it was Saturday, a couple days ago. And I was like, oh, okay, my period's just coming early. But spotting stopped <laughs> and it went away. And then my temperature went back up and it's still up. Um, and like, I haven't had a 14 day luteal phase in a while. Like I don't go past a certain number of like days in my cycle sort of thing. And I'm on luteal day 16 right now. So yesterday I was like, screw it. Like I'm just going to take a pregnancy test and see, um, but I got rid of all my pregnancy tests, I guess, because I was like, oh, I won't need those. So I don't have any pregnancy tests at home. I don't have a car to like go get any. Um, so yesterday I told Michael, I was like, so you remember how I said I was spotting the other day? I was like, well, it stopped and I haven't gotten my period. And he was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> then we were talking about it. We're like, it's not perfect, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. And we started talking about like the pros of having kids so close together but now I'm wondering like am I convincing myself in my head that like oh it'd be good to have you know another baby when Theo's 18 months old and like there's a lot of pros to it there's a lot of cons too but it would be fine but I have this feeling that I'm like can I convince myself like oh no this is gonna be great to have a baby like and I'm gonna get like talk myself into it and get excited and be like yeah this is a good thing and then I'm gonna get my period but I'm still waiting for it I think I said to myself yesterday if my temperature's still up tomorrow and I don't get my period then I'm gonna get a test so I think once Michael gets home I'm gonna go buy a pregnancy test because like I just want to know one way or the other because now I'm just curious and it would be an end of February beginning of March baby which isn't the end of the world I mean it's right before race season so that's not the greatest timing but at this point like it would be fine I think we'll be okay with it it is interesting because I feel like I'm still trying to get my feet underneath me with Theo um, because things just obviously haven't been normal this year with coronavirus. And I'm like juggling being the full-time caretaker of him, running the household, I guess we'll say, and trying to get a little bit of work done each day for Femhead. So it's definitely a balancing act and there are days where I crush it and I do really good and there's other days where I'm like I just feel like a stay-at-home mom and I hate it so I just was like you know what just sit down say it if I get my period I get my period but then I can look back and be like oh yeah I remember that one time I thought I was pregnant and I really was pregnant but I was also like okay that would make sense like I've been super hot lately I mean ever since it started getting warmer I've just been hot but like I can't handle the heat the way I used to before being pregnant with Theo so I don't know if it's just like my hormones have changed and this is my new normal. Um, my stomach hurt really bad two days ago, not yesterday, but the day before. Like I know so many siblings who are really close in age. Like me and my sister are 21 months apart. Um, I have friends who they're like 11 months apart. And like they're super close. I feel like I'm really close with my sister. There's another part of me is like, well, what about femhead? Like... Your whole thing is fam and charting and menstrual cycles and like what if you messed up but it's like mm, we knew what we were doing i knew what i was doing i knew where i was in my cycle um and it was like a miscommunication <laughs> a slight one not like a full miscommunication but a slight one and so i'm like are people gonna like call me out because i didn't plan it but it's like i'm at this point in life where like getting pregnant and having babies is okay like it's not like I'm a teenager and, you know, trying to finish high school and go through college. So it would be fine. It would be a blessing. And it would like, of course, that's what would happen. Like it took us 11 months to conceive Theo and a very small, tiny mess up results in a second pregnancy. Like, well, I guess it's technically my third pregnancy, but pff, no, I don't know if I'm pregnant or not yet, but. I'm glad I told Michael because like I needed to tell someone because I really wanted to send a screenshot of my chart to my friend 
and be like, well, this isn't the greatest thing, like when your temperature goes up instead of going down. Um, but I mean, I would tell them pretty straight away. I'd tell her and my sister, because we tell each other pretty much everything. <sighs> but now I just want to know, but now I don't have any pregnancy tests at home because I got rid of all my cheap Amazon ones. And I just need to go to like Walmart or the dollar store and just get a cheap one. Like I don't want to go and get like a $15 one. I don't need that. I just need a cheap one. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm pretty sure once Michael gets back from work. So that's my update. So I was so nervous going driving over here. Not because like I'm fine asking for people like seeing me getting a pregnancy test, but I was like, oh my God, what if this is like the moment of truth? So I'm gonna go home and take it out. But um, first off, it took me forever to find the pregnancy test. They're in a locked case at Walmart. I did not know this. So I had to find someone to unlock it. So I had to go up to a guy and say, hey, are you like, I need to get something out of case. And he said, oh, is it nicotine? Or I said pregnancy test. <laughs> He's like, okay, like I'll get someone who has keys. So he comes back with the keys and a like a little lock box for it. Asks me which one I want, takes it out of the case, puts it in the lock box and says, there you go. I'm like, okay, thank you. So now I have to go, I have my coffee beans, my pregnancy test. I actually didn't need coffee beans. And so I'm going back to, I have to go to the checkout and like the ones that actual, like a person, not the self checkout or like long. So I was like, I bet they can do it at the self checkout. And so I go to the self-checkout and I was like, hey, can you guys unlock this or do I have to go to a thing? So they have, she takes it and I don't know why, I just feel like I was on display like, oh, this girl's buying a pregnancy test, but I did not know they were in a case at Walmart, but now you know. <sighs> Wish I would have had them on hand. I'm going outside right now. And dip an entire absorbent for 20 seconds. Flat for two minutes. 20 seconds seems like a lot, right? 20 seconds. Okay. I'm shaking. I don't know if I'm more nervous this time or like the first time. Okay. Oh my god. There's a radio line. Oh my god. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god. There's already a fucking line. Now I have to go outside. And that's normal because my couldn't know I was buying one. No one was concerned, but oh my god, Victoria. <sighs> that is full on pregnant. I don't know if I'm like terrified or happy. Like, obviously, you know, it's surreal. Like, this isn't this isn't real. This isn't real. Michael's gonna shit his pants. Oh my god! I have to like take a minute. I have to hide all the evidence and take a minute and then show it to him later. Oh my god, Victoria. I'm trying to compose myself to go outside like I'm shaking. It's not real yet. Surreal. Like, how do I tell Michael? Do I just hand him the test? <sighs> Probably. I'm gonna look up my due date now. Um, I thought it was March. It's a Valentine's Day baby. I am 
there's still shock. I need to stop sitting up here and thinking about it because it just gets more crazy the more I think about that. Oh my God. It's, I don't feel like I'm pregnant. This is insane. Okay. I'll think about how I'm going to tell him later. And he even made a joke the other day. I don't know if it's a joke. I was like, oh, look at, look at the new shirt. Because it was like Team Dad or something like that. Or like Yay for Dad. And he was like, oh, does it say Big Brother? And I was like, <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, guys. It's Victoria. Welcome back to Femhead. So I have been thinking about this video and meaning to make this video for months now. So I've been keeping a very big secret since the beginning of June. <laughs> and by the title of the video, you can tell what's going on. I am gonna have a baby in like a month, five weeks, six weeks, I don't know exactly. I think five or six weeks from now, you know, babies come when babies wanna come. But yeah, most people announce when they're, you know, finish their first trimester um i'm in my third trimester <laughs> like i'm very pregnant so as i'm filming this video it's actually november it's like the week before thanksgiving so i'm going to be much more pregnant when this video actually comes out i'm just pre-recording videos because i'm having a baby and i need to get ahead so i can just take some time off because i've been through the newborn phase once and i know it's difficult and just Taking work off my plate helps a lot, so that's why. Um, anyways, so I'm currently almost 27 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this, and I'm not quite sure. I mean, I'm gonna be like 34, 35 weeks, I think, when this goes out. So anyways, this is my little bump. <laughs> this, um, this is what I've been hiding from you guys for seven months now. So big changes over here. And I think once this video goes out, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, well that makes sense. I've been pretty absent on social media. A lot of my videos have not been like period and cycle related recently because I just find it so hard to make period related videos and cycle related videos when I'm not personally experiencing a menstrual cycle. So anyways, the reason I've kept it a secret so long from you guys is because we just haven't told everyone yet. It's taken us so, so long to tell the people that we wanted to tell like in person or over like FaceTime or Zoom because 2020, like we, we just didn't see people last year and we still haven't seen people. And so wanting to tell people in person because it's so much more fun takes a lot more time when you're just not seeing people. And I think I was like six months pregnant when we told some of our like international friends over, it was like Zoom or something. I was like, we need to tell them before like it gets out or you know, whatever. And so yeah, I've just been waiting to tell those people in my life closest to us the news before I just like put it out there. With Theo, I was like so excited to like shout it from the rooftops, like, cause it was such a journey to conceive Theo. So by the time like it actually happened, I was just like, oh my God, like, thank God I can have children. <laughs> and it was just a relief. So I was really, really just amped and excited to share that news. But this time, like it's been, it was like my little secret, our little secret. And like, we even waited longer to tell our family. Um, I told my sister, my best friend immediately. I like, told them both the next day. You kind of need your people to be like, oh my god this is happening and it's not because like we're worried or anything like that it's just like we're not in a big rush and honestly i'll talk about it like i literally forget i'm pregnant all the time because of theo because he is a handful like a great handful but he keeps me busy and so with him when i was pregnant with him it's like all i could think about was being pregnant and how excited i was for him and like all the things i needed to do and wanted to do and like you have so much time to just daydream and this time I'm just like, holy cow, I'm gonna have a baby like here in no time, <laughs> time at all. Like I better get a second crib sort of thing. I am nervous to be in charge of two small lives. <laughs> Thankfully Theo's at an age and he will even more so be at an age where he's gaining a lot of independence and he's able to not do things by himself, but it's not like he's a newborn baby where you have to like constantly carry him around and like feed them and everything. Like you can give him food and he feeds himself. 
um, or like he sleeps through the night. Like there's so many positives of where Theo's at that will be very beneficial having a newborn. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I think I'm most nervous about the newborn phase <laughs> with baby number two because I like sleep and I'm not ready to give up my sleep yet because Theo is such a good sleeper and he has been such a good sleeper since six months. I've gotten so used to sleeping through the night and I'm so grateful for that. Waking up with a newborn is not my favorite thing, but I know it's just a phase and it'll pass. Okay, differences between pregnancies. Forget constantly that I am pregnant with this child. Like it seems so surreal to me, even though I've been through it once, like this seems even more not real. It's been a really easy pregnancy. Once again, I was like nauseous and tired in the first trimester, which is hard when you have another kid to take care of and not being able to eat stuff, but still having to like make him meals and just trying not to throw up as I'm like cooking him food because it just is like, oh, I'm so put off by it. My belly feels and looks higher this time to me. Like I felt like Theo was so low. I felt like he was constantly like on my bladder and he was just really heavy. Because my body has been through this once, I haven't had those like aches and pains of my body like stretching and accommodating and making space for this baby like it's like oh yeah i know what to do and so that's been really nice like i think i lost weight in my first trimester my starting weight for my pregnancy with theo was 121 pounds my starting weight with this pregnancy was like 114 like i had lost weight in those first couple weeks of my pregnancy just because i could not eat anything but i knew it would like come back and be fine okay so something different this time that i didn't have with theo is pelvic floor like pain discomfort so i was having what i assume were like pelvic floor issues before getting pregnant get my menstrual cup to work again the smaller size didn't work so i ordered the larger size and that still didn't quite work so i was like working on my kegels and i had the pelvic floor trainer and everything um and it wasn't long after that that i found out i was pregnant i had been meaning to go see a pelvic floor physical therapist for the longest time but then COVID happened we just didn't go anywhere we still don't go anywhere i put it off for the longest time but then especially in my second trimester my belly started getting bigger and everything and i just started having more weight on my pelvic floor i was noticing a lot of issues with just like discomfort any sort of physical activity going on walks cleaning the house like most basic things would cause me discomfort and it would just feel like really sensitive and like heavy and achy and so i knew that it was only going to get worse and i was just concerned that i was going to create a bigger issue not addressing the problem then and like going through the rest of my pregnancy, giving birth and everything, and then like having a worse problem postpartum. I think I was 25 weeks along, I wanna say, when I went and finally did see a physical therapist that specialized in the pelvic floor and she was amazing. Like I learned a lot, I'm gonna make a whole video about it because I think it is very important for people to go see a pelvic floor physical therapist, but I have noticed just in the few weeks since then, a big improvement in the like pelvic floor discomfort and I feel like I'm getting a hang on it. How do I feel about two under two? So me and my siblings are all pretty close in age. Like my sister and me are 21 months apart. I wanted my kids to be close in age. This baby came a little bit sooner than I think we would have planned on. I think we probably would have started trying when Thea was like 18 months to two years old. But through our experience trying to conceive Theo and just the anxiety and the blighted ovum miscarriage, it was just very, very stressful conceiving Theo. So to have a very, very easy time conceiving this one is just a blessing in disguise, in my opinion. You know, it was like six months to a year sooner than in our perfect plan of things, but it took us 11 months to conceive Theo. And so in my mind, I was fully expecting it to take the same amount of time to conceive future children, but turns out that's not how it works. <laughs> right when we found out I was pregnant this time, we looked up like the pros and cons of two under two. And the first one we saw under the pro list was it's better to run through fire than walk through it. We only read the pros on the list because we didn't want to know the cons. Even though I've gotten to a point to where Theo sleeps through the night and I sleep through the night and I have like a good night of sleep and you know, I'm getting my feet under me again. I'd rather just rip off the band-aid and get through the no sleep phase again. They will be 18 months apart. More and more now, just looking at Theo, I'm like, you're a toddler. Like it's so weird to see him as a toddler and not as a baby. It gives me more confidence in my ability to have two kids under two years old. Theo has not had a lot of social interaction with 
kids. He was so young to where he didn't understand playing with his cousin and then coronavirus hit so we've just been secluded and so he hasn't got to play with other kids and it's really sad like it really does break my heart even though I know they're not gonna play for a while <laughs> they're not be able to play together for a while it would be just nice for him to have like another kid around and then once the baby is like you know four six eight months old and they can actually like start to build the relationship, I think it will be really sweet. I was really nervous for a while and I think that's why I had like my midlife crisis of like I need to get my shiz together as far as like making things run smoothly. So as you've noticed in like the past several months, it's all been about like how can I restructure my day-to-day -day life to make things go smoothly because I was feeling overwhelmed. And then the thought of adding another child to this equation, especially a newborn, just made me feel like I wasn't gonna be able to do it. So I was like, okay, I need to reassess, readjust, and like change how I do things, knowing that I'm going to be adding another child to the mix here soon. And it's been such a positive thing. I'm so glad I made all those changes because it has just had like a positive impact on like my mental health, just like my overall well being. And I'm able to really look at what needs to get done before this baby comes and just keep everything afloat. We're not finding out again, I meant to say that. But I think this time it's a girl, so you can give me your guesses of what you think it is. But yeah, I think we're gonna have a little girl this time. Throughout my entire pregnancy with Theo, I always thought he was a boy, like the whole entire time. And I've had that same feeling this time, except a girl. Like, I don't think it's like, oh, I want a girl now, because I'd be totally fine with another boy. Like, I am obsessed with Theo, like he's such a fun kid. And so to get another like version of him <laughs> would be awesome. I'll show you my belly again, so you can give me your guesses down below, but do you think I'm having a boy or girl? Oh, and I should also say that I'm due February 18th. So this is my belly this time. I think, I feel like I look so much more pregnant than I should be. Like I said, constantly forget that I'm pregnant and I look at like the time I have left and I'm like, I do not feel like I should be this pregnant or having a baby that soon. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Surprise! <laughs> um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!